Hi, I'm Gigi Farrier and I'm a bikini fitness athlete and I am in studio with Sports Therapy 101. Gigi is a lady who wears many hats. Introduce yourself to those who may not know. I'm Gigi and I do wear many hats. I am an athlete, I am a business owner, I am a content creator, I sing, I've taught, I've done so many things, too many things probably, but it's been an interesting journey. Is sports a new passion for you or an old rekindled love? Sports is an old rekindled love. Um, I fell in love with track and field when I was 10 and really, or so, I really, really fell in love with it when I was 12. So first form, from a track club, that was that. Like, you didn't have to wake me up to go to training. It was just a passion, like deeply, deeply rooted passion. I used to train seven days a week. Yeah. <laughs> what events did you do? I did twos and fours. Four was my pet event. And then when I eased off of track a bit due to some injuries, et cetera, et cetera. I did football a bit, did a little stint with water polo. Um, Gosh, probably every sport. Play around with a little block basketball sometimes. No netball, though. I could do pivots. And stuff. That, was, that was in my way. But yeah, twos and fours. And yeah, I really loved the 400. It's a phenomenal race. Tell us a little bit more of how your track career ended. Um, I have hip dysplasia. So my hip just slips out. Two curves, one race. That's enough to do it over a couple of years. So um, unfortunately, the kind of understanding that we have now about kinesiology, how the body works, musculoskeletal systems. You know, I'm old, so we didn't have it back then. So yeah, so that was it really and truly. Is that where you began to branch out into other sports? Um, I would say my first love honestly was football. Yeah, my cousin is a phenomenal football coach. He's one of the first, um, if I remember correctly, FIFA, um, I had qualified, I don't know how to put it, uh, football coaches for women's football in Barbados. And I really believe that he changed women's football in Barbados. So just growing up around him, watching him, watching him watch football when it looked like little dots on the screen way back in the day. That was just a part of my life. My family's into sports a lot too, so they would watch multiple things. How did you get into bikini fitness? <laughs> well, what had happened was, um, I considered bikini fitness when I was younger and it was, well, I considered fitness, I guess it was called back then because they didn't have bikini fitness way back then. That would have been a newer category. Um, it's pretty expensive. The sport of bodybuilding is very, very, very expensive. Like it is insane. I don't think people really understand that these suits and stuff run from like four to eight to two thousand like it it can really really get up there because of the craftsmanship um so i abandoned that ship then in 2017 i have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia and i started training really consistently and people kept asking i was like yeah, we'll see i was not sold on it i felt like what i was putting in it i didn't need someone to tell me that my body was enough like my body was already enough it allows me to live every day and I ignored it until COVID came and then it felt like we'll never do anything ever again. And this year, one of my friends reached out. She said, there's nationals this year. You need to be there. You need to do it. And I said, all right, I'll try it. And it worked out pretty okay, I guess. <laughs> How has life been with your diagnosis? Um, fibro is an interesting thing. So late today, I was super lethargic all day, but you know, I brightened it up for the people. Um, fibro has been a good and bad thing. A bad thing in terms of the symptoms. Luckily, I don't have some of the symptoms that people do have. Um, but a good thing in the sense that my way is that there's no cure for it. So if I don't work out and I don't stay healthy and I don't stay fit, obviously my quality of life will change considerably. And I didn't want that. So that was enough for me to commit to a fitness regime. And I think that that's one of the best things that's ever happened to me in life on a holistic level. Which hat do you wear or do you see as your profession and mm. how has sports helped? Okay, so sports has honestly helped in every area of my life. And I know that's not exactly the question that you asked, but I think it's really important for me to lean into that particular part of my ethos. 
Um, without the track coaches that I had as a kid, I probably would not have the work ethic that I do know in anything. Um, without seeing my same cousin, like just be extremely committed and consistent with football and how much he gave to other people, I probably wouldn't have like taught other kids just for free, you know what I mean? Just to give back. So I would say sports has probably impacted every area of my psyche in a positive way and has allowed me to um, develop a certain level of dedication that I learned this year. Not everybody has that or even wants to have that, even if they could. So I, I appreciate that so much and the people who imparted their knowledge on me. Um, and what would I say that, I don't know, I do so many things, to be honest with you, I guess. I am an influencer and social strategist and entrepreneur, athlete, hairstylist, and um, motivation maven, you know, just keep people going, hopefully. What advice do you have for the youth? Be your most genuine self for each stage that you're at in your life. Um, you never really know how you just being your truest self will empower other people and inspire them to live more of the truth that they need to be living for their particular journey. Um, go after your goals with freeing abandon and intense determination, dedication and, and, and consistency. Sometimes you're not going to be able to get the things you want right away, but do not give up on something if it means enough to you and you know, be a good human being, you know, try to be honest, try to be a good person. I do think that as much as the world is full of a lot of things that we could do with it, I think there is still something to be said for being a a good human being, an upright person, you know? So, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to that episode. Before we leave, I would like to give a special shout out to our platinum sponsor, Kinetics Apparel, a local gym apparel brand catering for both male and female clients. Our gold sponsor, Good Cup Cart, a smoothie and shakes cart located in St. David's Christchurch. They specialize in healthy shakes and fruit smoothie options. A special mention also to Plant Life, catering to for all your vegan fast food needs. Thank you for tuning in to this episode and we look forward to seeing you next time.